Hello, this is uh, Eric Guy, Chief Victory Officer at the Center for Victory. Uh, back with video number two. Last video, we talked about uh, how to use the predictive index when we're working with a relationship to strengthen a relationship, to look at ways uh, when people are working well together to continue to strengthen it and work complement more complementary together. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at this guy. And again, we're going to use the same two uh, kind of fake people here, Kim Kiwi and Bernie Banana. So I'm going to plug them in real quick. So I have Kim and I have Bernie. And let's say now that, you know, before we said, you know, they're doing pretty well. And those were the relationship strengths that we went over in the last video. But what happens? What should we be aware of? Okay. So what are the things that this relationship uh, could cause? I mean, it could it be detrimental. Obviously, you know, when we take two people again, when we look at someone like uh, Bernie Banana, who tends to be big picture, very fast paced, very quick to connect and combine him with someone like Kim, who tends to be more of an internal thinker, not an external communicator, tends to be more risk averse, tends to be more process oriented and wants to know the details that could be uh, a, really a recipe for disaster. So let's say this time, what can we do to help that relationship? So we really look at the cautions now. All right. So if we want to better this relationship, let's take a look at what could maybe, maybe happen again with this. Sometimes a lot of the problems you can put by the wayside if you if you nip it in the bud to begin with so let's look at this so bernie all right who tends to be more aggressive than kim may dominate the agenda and kim's ideas or concerns may get overlooked so before that happens let's just have that conversation and say hey look you know let let kim be listened to bernie slow your roll slow it down a little bit understand that kim might have a, a idea that she's you know maybe not sharing or that you just might need to uh stop talking a little bit and just listen uh, the other thing that could happen is kim kim could get overwhelmed by bernie's eagerness to have that conversation so one of the things we might want to make sure we do is is let bernie know that hey it's you know kim needs time to think time to process but also let kim know hey bernie's very outgoing he needs that that face time so every once in a while giving that and it's that give and take inside the relationship that's going to make it more rich and more beneficial for the two of them working together and for the team of that company but also for the company in general again we get into number three that bullet point there uh bernie's tendency to rush conversations can frustrate kim all right and then Kim may feel like Bernie communicates without getting to the point. So at the end of a meeting, what we might want to do, and you're going to see this in the tips when we dip down in there, Bernie might want to make sure that she's giving Kim the details that she's needing and requiring. And that also Kim every once in a while can give Bernie a chance to, to talk high level and then bring it down for him and make it more concise. And then you can see the next step would be, here are some tips, right? Bernie, to make sure Bernie's uh, letting Kim have her say, we said that pausing to ask Kim her reactions and feedback as well as giving credit and acknowledging when Kim has a great idea or suggestion, just slowing down to hear her idea sometimes with that type of profile that Bernie's on. Uh, Bernie should set time to speak with Kim rather than dropping by. Uh, Kim's going to tend to be that person. And if you're listening to this, you might be that person that that's nice, but not necessarily social. So you don't tell people you don't have time. And then you end up at the end of the year day uh, taking work home with you. So make sure uh, that we understand one another in that in that way. Kim should be receptive to communication from Bernie, but Bernie should also provide Kim with space. So this might be the idea of a, hey, that give and take that we talked about, you know, Kim should be given Bernie, maybe a little bit of FaceTime, but Bernie should instead of stopping by all the time, maybe just send Kim some emails or create a list for her at the times that they do connect. 
Tim should make sure Bernie is clear on specific action. You know, they, again, they can, from our last video, they can work very well together. And instead of being unconsciously competitive, this takes them to that level of being consciously complimentary. Uh, hope this helps. Again, this is Eric Guy. If you want more information, you can visit our, web, our website at centerforvictory.com. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.